So let's say we wanted to uh, simulate this circuit with respect to time. You would go to your pSpice, Edit Simulation Profile, if you have one already. Let's say you don't have one. You can go to pSpice New Simulation Profile. Call it Time. Notice how the markers disappear and we have a new simulation profile created. Time domain means we're going to look at the behavior of the circuit over time. So let's say one second. Maximum step size, we'll leave it blank. And then click apply, then OK. Now go and place your piece by component, the uh, markers, or let's see. We need to go to P Spice. Here we go. And then choose markers, then voltage differential. I want to find the, vol the voltage drop across R1. Right click end mode. I also want to find, let's see, I also want to find power dissipation through R1. Right click end mode. And I want to see the current going through R1. All of these things are helpful for when you're selecting components in a circuit. So if you know how much current is going through a pin or a device, then you know which current rating to choose for that device when you're going on DigiKey or Mauser or something like that. So place a current marker on here. We're going to see the power, the current, and the voltage drop across R1 only. Go ahead and save your design. Then you can click on this icon to run PSPICE or go to PSPICE, run. Voila, here we have the negative IR. It has its own current. Then we have the, the W for the power going through that resistor and then the voltage drop across the resistor. How about we click the wattage and delete that with the delete key and the current delete with the delete key. Here we have the voltage differential being 6 volts, just like we calculated. 